A young woman is walking with a kid in the street. Suddenly, another family bumps into them. They end up dropping two items, a stack of money and a pregnancy test. The man picks up the money and hands it to his wife. The young woman sees the pregnancy test. She picks it up and tries to hand it to the woman. She congratulates her for the positive result. The man wearing a flat cap says that it doesn't belong to his wife. The young woman says that it's not hers. She says that the test belongs to the old woman and the money is hers. She asks to have her money back. The older woman says that the test doesn't belong to her and judging by the clothes the young woman is wearing, she's not very surprised. The young woman says that she doesn't know what she's trying to insinuate, but the test certainly doesn't belong to her. She tries to hand it to the older woman and asks for her money back. The husband asks the young woman if she's insinuating that his wife cheated on him. He says that he did a vasectomy, and she's a single mother, so things are pretty obvious. Attempting to humiliate the young woman, the old religious woman says she tells her husband to look away and covers her daughter's eyes with her hands. Feeling insulted, the young woman tells the old woman to be honest with her husband and just give her her money back. The old woman tells her that the young woman is fibbing and trying to steal the money she's going to donate to charity. The old woman curses the young woman and walks away. The young woman says that she can't believe they stole her money and took her son Michael away with her. Meanwhile, the couple takes their daughter to school. The man introduces what seems to be his daughter to her new school and tells her to introduce herself to her new friends. The girl goes inside. The husband asks his partner if she's all right. She says that she's just upset with the incident. Suddenly, a young man approaches them. He recognizes the older woman named Renata. Her husband asked if they knew each other. The young man says that he's the new teacher. Renata's husband shakes his hands and introduces himself as Raphael. He says that they're there to drop off their daughter. Renata hands the money to him. He picks it up and thanks them. Raphael says that he's very glad to have their daughter at their great institution. The teacher says that he's very happy to hear it. Renata asks the teacher about the meeting he scheduled with the parents. The teacher says that he did. He says that it will start in a minute, so maybe she can wait inside. Raphael says that unfortunately, he won't be able to stay because he needs to go to work. Renata says that she had to clean the house, but perhaps she can stay because it's very important. Her partner says that if she needs anything, she can call him anytime, and he will be there as soon as possible. The teacher shakes Raphael's hands and thanks him for being such a good parent. Raphael says goodbye to them and walks away. Renata goes inside to talk to the teacher. The young woman who had her money stolen approaches, having followed Renata along. Inside, the teacher confronts Renata, asking how she found the money. The young woman draws closer to hear their conversation. Renata tells the teacher that she found that money in the street and that she wanted to use it to hang out with him on the weekend. The teacher says that she doesn't look over the moon. Renata says that they have a problem. The teacher says that they won't have any problems because her husband left and that he doesn't even know who he is. Renata reveals that the problem isn't that, but the fact that she's pregnant. After hearing it, the teacher asks if she's sure about it. Renata says that she is indeed, but the big problem is that her husband had a vasectomy, so he will find out that she's cheating on him. The young teacher says that it can't be real. The young woman decides to confront the woman. She approaches them, says that it's a very happy coincidence, and calls the woman a thief. The old woman asks what she's doing there. The young woman says that she was going to pay for her son's school with the money she stole from her. The old woman denies it. The young woman laughs and says that she's very funny. She says that the funniest bit is realizing that the father is a teacher and a very good teacher. The young man says that he doesn't know what she's talking about. The young woman reminds him that she changed her house's windows a week before. He says that he doesn't remember that. The woman says that she didn't know he had amnesia. The old woman asks what she wants there if she can't pay for her son's school. The young woman says that she doesn't because she stole her money. 
The woman denies it once more. The teacher says that it's best for them to go because the parents meeting is about to start. The young woman laughs and says that it's a very convenient event to happen at a time like that. The couple walks away. Fuming, the young woman tries to come up with a plan. Minutes later, the couple goes to a room to do their alleged parent meeting. The young woman follows them. She watches them tell each other that they're finally alone. The woman says that she's very happy that she's finally been impregnated and that it was their dream. The young man says that she's right. The young woman, watching them, says that she needs to get her money back. The woman asks what they're going to do about the husband. The young man says that they will find a way out. To calm her down, he picks up the money in his pocket and ends up dropping it. The older woman picks it up and taunts him a bit. The young woman watching it says that she wasn't expecting it. She says that it doesn't matter because she needs to think about a plan to get it back. The young man tells his lover that with some money, they can start a whole new life with their baby and even start the business that he always wanted. The woman says that it sounds very romantic, but she already has a life of her own and that her daughter Maria loves her father. The young man says that she can get used to him and promises to treat her very well. The woman asks if he's sure. The Trodai says that he's dead serious. The old woman says that in that case, she accepts it. They hug each other. Hours later, the man approaches the school, all excited and singing religious chants to pick up his wife and his daughter. The young woman approaches him and tries to have a word. The man says that he's sorry, but he wants her to leave him and his family alone. He says that he might look very handsome, but he's a married man. The young woman gets really angry and says that her main goal isn't even to get the money they stole from her back. She admits that she's actually seeking revenge because they insulted her and her son. She says that, just in case, she took a pregnancy test herself and found out that she's not pregnant at all. She shows the negative result to the man and tells him to follow her. The man says that the test can be forged. He says that the money belonged to his wife to contribute to the school's social welfare. He says that she should seek a psychiatrist to see what kind of mental issue she has, or maybe getting closer to God might help. He says that the way she dresses isn't very convenient for a girl like her and her handsome son. The young woman asks if he would believe her if she was dressed like his wife. She says that apparently, it didn't work out for her. The man says that she can't disrespect him and his wife because she was the one who stopped him in the street to insult him. He says that he needs to go. The woman tries to stop him to explain the situation. The man gets really angry and tells her to keep her hands away from a married man. The woman says that she just wants him to follow her so he can see it with his own eyes. The man asks what she wants him to see. The woman says that his wife is cheating on him and she can show it to him. The man refuses to believe that his wife will do such a thing. The young woman says that she's only asking for him to follow her. The man asks if she's doing that just to make his wife dirty. The man asks why she's being such a mean person. The young woman says that he can be vocal later and say all those things to his wife. The man asks if she promises to leave them alone if he follows her. The woman says that it's a deal. The man then finally agrees to go with her and check. Minutes later, they see the couple holding hands. He confronts them. His daughter gets closer to him and says that they're going on a trip. The man tells his daughter Maria to fetch her bunny because he will take her home. The man confronts his wife and says that the young woman was right. His wife denies it and says that she can explain. The man says that he can't believe they were taking his daughter away with them in his own car. The woman says that there's an explanation. The young woman says that she can't believe that she had the guts to do that and calls her a horrible liar. She says that God must be really disappointed with her. The husband asks the young woman's name. She says that her name is Layla. The man says that Layla is right. He says that if she didn't warn him about her antics, he would find out that everything was gone. The young man says that it's just a misunderstanding. The man says that he doesn't need any explanation from a butcher. The young man says that he's actually a builder. The husband laughs and says that he can clearly see that he's not a teacher then. He asks the couple why they don't go away. 
The woman says that maybe they can sort it out. Her husband says that it's up to her. The young man says that he will leave it to them. The woman stops him and says that he's not going anywhere. The husband tells Layla that things are very clear to him now. He tells them to give Layla her money. The old woman tells her lover to. The old woman tells her lover to do it. Not very amused, he hands it back to her. The husband apologizes to Layla for insulting her and thanks her for finally showing him the truth. She says that it's fine and that she hopes he learned not to judge people based on their appearances. The man apologizes once more. Layla says that she's leaving because she's got what's hers. She wishes that God forgives the woman and walks away. The cheater asks her husband what's going to happen to Maria. The husband says that Maria stays with him. He says that he will raise him to his best ability to make sure that she doesn't behave like her mother. The woman tells her lover that it's best for them to go. The husband tells them to go away, but without his car. They walk away, and the husband shakes his head in disapproval after finding out about his wife's cheating. 